Let's do a quick tour of tradingview.com. Let's start from the homepage and highlight a few key features. All right, we're at the homepage. The first thing we look at is this market summary tab. This is probably the fastest way to get a feel for what's happening around the world in global markets at any given time. Are prices up, are prices down, or are they flat? And of course, you can manage this by asset. So this right now is showing us futures prices, and we can see that there is some green around the world. And if we click each symbol, we can see a simple line chart to get a feel for trend or direction, or just to see where price is relative to other moments in time. And you can click each asset class to you know sort by that asset class. So here's crypto total market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's all right here for your use and your time. Even bonds you can investigate just by simply using this market summary tab. As you scroll down, you'll see some other interesting updates as well and features and tools. You'll see connected brokers. You can connect your account to TradeStation, for example, and trade directly from TradingView. You'll see some stocks, some active gainers and losers, and depending on where you are in the world, this might be a different country, and you can even sort this yourself by country. Now on the left here, what you do see is something called Editor's Picks, and on TradingView, people are publishing their ideas to TradingView social network and sharing their information and research. And then editor's picks are these ideas being featured on the front page. So see that? We just click this idea. Editor's picks. We're on the home page, tradingview.com. And we scroll down and look at this. There's an idea from Saxo that's been featured. Let's give this a read. So we can click it, open the idea, and we can read this update from Saxo Group. And if we scroll down, we get all of this text information and research. And it looks like it was written by their head of FX strategy, John Hardy. Quite interesting. And you can disagree with this, agree with it, or provide comments below. You can see that there are some comments here underneath. Let's move on. Now that we've shown you the basics of the home page, the next obvious thing we need to talk about is the search bar. This is where you begin your financial research journey. So for example, we type in Apple. Here are all of the Apple symbols available to us globally around the world. For now, we just want NASDAQ, US. And when you type a symbol into the search box, pay close attention to your sorting options. You can sort by stock, futures, Forex. Obviously, we have Apple typed in, so it's going to be hard to find specific symbols when we sort like this, but you get the point. You can sort it. In addition, there's a button here that says All Exchanges. Well, if you're looking for a specific exchange, guess what? You can sort by that. So we click NASDAQ, perfect, there's Apple. Now here is the Apple symbol page. This is where we can see everything about Apple. It's price, it's pre-market and post-market price. We see even upcoming earnings reports. This is so important. And the key about this is now we know when Apple is reporting earnings. And if we hover our mouse over this, look at this. It tells us the next earnings report and the estimate. There's also some other basic stats, stats such as EPS, market cap, dividend yield, PE ratio. We can make videos about these topics later on. You can also trade it. So connect your brokerage to TradingView and place a trade right now. You can choose to follow it so that you get ideas and it's, it's, you, know, you see it in your watch list. You can also create alerts right here from the symbol page. So there is a lot going on here and just take your time and dive in slowly. Let's scroll down because this next part is really important. Pay attention to these tools at the top. An overview is going to show you this basic line chart of Apple. And you can add on some simple overlay overlays, such as the S&P 500, or the NASDAQ composite, or the Dow, or even the VIX. And the reason why you would add these is just to quickly check how the symbol is performing relative to the indexes. And then you can change the time frame, and you can see, okay, is Apple outperforming or under, underperforming these indexes over these key time frames? Easy, fast, all it takes is just checking each box or just having Apple up and selecting your time frame. Next up is 
timeline. We made a video about timelines and this is for select symbols. Timelines are how you, how you learn the comprehensive history of a specific symbol, learn about the stories, the events, and the news that changed the direction and course of a symbol. And if you scroll down, you can read all about these moments in Apple's timeline. And maybe this is how you learn about news and price, if the team is executing, and just to learn more about a company in general. If you click ideas, you will learn about all of the ideas being posted on TradingView's internal social network from traders and investors around the world. Some are anonymous, some show their face, some are totally um, are designed to just be information, some are posting trade ideas only, some have long-term investing ideas. It's all here. So what we did is we clicked ideas, and now we're on this page, and if we scroll down, we see top authors. These authors are not picked by our team or anyone of that sort. They're actually being vetted by the community. So depending on the number of likes, comments, and frequency of ideas, these people are ranked as top authors, but for this specific symbol. So these are the top authors of Apple right now. And as we scroll down, we can see the ideas that they're posting. For example, SF Henderson 17 is here. We can choose to follow him. And look at this. We see he posted an idea right here. He calls it Apple just for fun. Let's click like. Let's open it really quick just to see what he's examining. Very interesting. He has a volume profile up. He's examining this huge volume cluster here and perhaps looking for a trade. He wrote a sentence uh, just to get the point across in his trade and then he published it. And now it's right here for everyone to examine. And what you can do is you can scroll through this ideas feed and see what other people are researching, what they're charting, what they're thinking about. This one is called Apple vs. Disney. That sounds interesting. He has a custom equation, Apple divided by Disney. Here's the username. We can see his research. He wrote a quick sentence about his research. And we can choose to ignore this, like it, whatever we want. We could even hover our mouse over this user, send them a message, follow them, even send them some TradingView coins. Now, TradingView coins, we'll make a video on those soon. Those are very important to this process. Because if you come up across a user or an idea you like, you can actually send them TradingView coins. 100 coins is equal to $1. So that is the ideas page. And by the way, you can sort by videos as well. So if you only want to watch videos, that's there for you. Scroll down. Here's the videos published about Apple. This one looks quite interesting. Position sizing in trading. Educational video. We may have to give that a watch. Next up is pay close attention to this toggle. You have popular and newest. So this is up to you. If you want to see the newest ideas, simply click this newest button and you'll see the ideas being published most, you know, in the in real time. If they're published, they will show up immediately. This fire button is popular based on likes, comments. It'll just kind of help sort and sift and show you the ideas that uh, might have a little more engagement than ideas coming through in real time. Perhaps it makes it easier to follow along. Okay, next up is index component. If we click this, we can see what the what indexes are including Apple in their construction. So what this Apple makes up these indexes, essentially. You see the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the NASDAQ 100. So you can just get a feel for how popular the symbol is. And if Apple's being included in these really big indexes, just takes one click. Now, one really exciting thing about these symbol pages that we are, want to show you is financials. So now that you're on the symbols page, you can dive into its financials in a very beautiful, easy to see way. So for example, we've clicked financials. We have an overview, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, statistics. If you're just beginning at financial statements, we highly recommend you do some research into these because this is the fundamental nature of the company you're researching. Are they profitable? Are they growing revenue? Are, is their cash flow increasing? You can come right here and find all of it. You can sort by annual or quarterly and then hover your mouse over the chart to see how they're performing each quarter. 
Apple did $111 billion in revenue in Q1 2021, net income of $28 billion. You can also see its balance sheet, assets, and liabilities. Let's go over to income statement. This will just give us a sense of its profitability, and we even can see these line-by-line -line items, which is you know incredible detail into the company. This detail is, uh, you know, it's, this is a deep dive. You can learn so much about a company diving into these line items. Now you can do balance sheet. It's the same thing. And you can even click these drop downs to see the makeup of each specific line item. This is uh, really is rich data. And while it may look complicated, it can do wonders to your research and just essentially help you find better investments or just to make sure you understand your investments through and through. Okay, let's go to cash flow. You can see how much cash that they're generating, cash from operating activities, cash from investing activities. It's all right here. So this button right here is so important. We're just clicking it a bunch so that it shows up on the screen. Financials, have some fun with this. Statistics, this is where you can find some basic statistics about a company. That's right, it's market cap, total common shares outstanding, float shares outstanding, number of employees. A lot of this data does not exist anywhere else on the web, or it is really difficult to get your hands on it. Well, guess what? It's right here in statistics, and you can build your own chart. So watch this. Let's see here. This is float shares outstanding. So let's uncheck this. And what's this one? This is number of employees. Let's uncheck this. And this is market cap. Let's uncheck this. Let's uncheck this. Okay, so look at this. Now we are just showing some ratios. Price to earnings ratio, price to cash flow. Let's add price to sales in there, price to book, and that's perfect. We now have these four important valuation ratios constructed on a single chart right here, financials tab, statistics, and all we have to do is click to add or remove, and we can build these custom charts. This is something that you should absolutely take advantage of, especially if you are a value investor or someone interested in the actual fundamentals of a company. Remember, just click to remove or click to add, and let's remove these. And you can build your own little custom visual here to see the annual change in these key statistics. And what's really interesting about this chart, for example, is we added price to earnings, price to sales, price to cash flow, price to book. We'll just show you again. So we've unchecked them all, see it's empty. Now we will check them, so now we can see it. What's really interesting about this, by the way, here's an observation you can take away, is look how these valuation ratios are increasing over time. They're actually the highest they've been in years. You can see price to earnings is 34, price to sales is seven, price to cash flow 24, price to book 29, go back to 2017, wow, it was 16, 3, 12, and 5. Very, very interesting. And then, of course, the last thing that we have to show you is really important to the traders out there, the people looking to follow momentum to see how price action is performing. This technicals button is a game changer. This is instant technical analysis just for your needs. Click it, and you essentially can get these barometers showing you the technicals of a company at any given time and watch how cool this is we'll click through it one month the trend says buy summary buy moving averages strong buy oscillators buy we click week buy buy neutral we click day we can see here neutral neutral and we can go down to four hours one hour 15 minutes we could even go all the way down to one minute now should you follow these totally up to you. It is a fun way though, and even an interesting way to get a strong technical look at a specific symbol to see if the moving averages, the oscillators, and the general technical summary, you know, are pointing toward a buy. And as you scroll down, you can see the data. This is now is really rich. And if you want to dive into the actual data, this is where you can see the data makeup of, you know, what's happening here. Here's oscillators moving averages, you see the exact values, the exact action, and the formula behind
these wheels and these barometers scroll down and you even get pivots so really cool if you're looking for exact pivots entry and exits uh, that's also right here classic Fibonacci it's at the bottom so that's how you use the symbols page and master this page because it is an area where you can do a lot of quick research okay let's head back to tradingview.com and what we'll do is wrap up with one final aspect here which is the chart so if you click this you go you will go right to the chart and this is where you dive into the charting research setups ta and even some fundamental analysis if you choose to add that so we hope that you enjoyed this video any questions or comments please let us know and by the way the point of this video was really to show you how to use the TradingView homepage and the TradingView symbol page and we hope that this got the idea across if you're looking for how to use TradingView charts or the screeners we'll have more videos on those those are these are the most popular tools in markets right now but we do get a lot of questions asking about these symbol pages and things like the financials so we hope that this video just helps lay the land in a way. Go ahead, dive in, try these symbol pages, uh, visit the technical page for instant technical analysis on your specific symbol. And by the way, when you are on a symbol page, on every symbol page, there's a full featured chart. If you click that, it will open the chart of that symbol. Here's Apple. If you look here, symbols, Apple, we click full featured chart. Now here we are, Apple, you will get this instant chart. So thanks for watching and we hope this video helps. Please leave any questions or comments below.